Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today's Wednesday. What time is it, Sam? We are headed to the barn early this morning. <gasps> we have to go. We have to go really soon. Are you coming to the barn with us? No. All right, I'm going to show you guys something that's never happened. Can you go get to me? I'm going to show you guys something that's never happened before in the history of our life. You didn't brush your hair. You did not brush your hair. I've never seen Sam look like that before. When I came down, it was like this. <laughs> I've never seen him look like that before. Yeah. I said, Sam, what the heck happened? I didn't put any gel it. in it yet. And then why did you say you didn't do it? Because I'm home today. Because <laughs> he's home today, yeah. And I said, Sam, you still have to look nice when you're home. And yeah, never ever seen Sam not look put together. Never. Not one time in over in 22 years. Not one time in almost 22 years have I ever seen him not put together. It's COVID, you guys. It's COVID time. I think you're a little big for your bed now. This morning I came in and this little cat was all curled up to Gabby's legs. She was sound asleep, having the having the best sleep of her life. She was so cute. We brought you some food, kitty. Come here. Come on. It's cold in here. Yeah, with the door closed, it's actually cool in here. You know, I like it. Yeah, it's good for her. There we go. We we didn't give her very much to eat yesterday because last night I lifted her up anesthetic. on my bed because she was moving everywhere with the cone on and banging into everything. But was she? But then she was like, like being really annoying. So I pushed, like I grabbed her and put her up her on off. your bed and no, then tossed her off. You pu pushed her off your bed? Yeah. Oh, Not well. push, but I grabbed here. Oh. With every. Thing else dangling, she didn't care. Well, when she, so I woke, it doesn't hurt. When we came in this morning, it was, I honestly wish I had had a picture of it. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. She was all curled up to Gabby and sound asleep. And when I we woke her up, she stretched out. She's been really happy. Like I watched and watched for Except signs. Remember when she freaking got her foot stuck in here last night? Uh oh, it's so loose. See? Can you tighten it? No, it's on the tightest thing. Oh well, um. We'll put it back on before we leave. But so last night she, or this morning, or so I've been watching and watching for signs of heat and I have not seen any signs of heat in her, which is so bizarre that she was pregnant. Um, but now that she got spayed, she literally seems like she's in heat. Like she's just purring, rubbing all over us. She's like really happy, really friendly. Daisy. You can tell yeah, she's like Daisy. where her leg got stuck right there because it pulled it down. There. Don't get your leg stuck in it, kitty, because we're going to be gone. We won't be able to save you. Anyway, the surgery she that she got. She probably fit her whole body through. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't take it off already. Like, she could probably just take it off. Her neck is like as big as my fist. Baby, what is your dog doing? <laughs> She's like, let me at her. I've been trying to catch this kitten for six months. For four months. No, that's rude. All right, so today we have lessons with Brandon. What are you going to do? What's your goal today, Gabby? Who are you riding? Storm. Stormy night. Who are you riding? Finn. Finn. Okay. So it's been about seven weeks since we had lessons with Brandon. A really long time because of COVID. And so I'm excited to see him again. I'm excited to get back at it. I think I have some Valentine's Day candies in my purse for him. been saving them. Did you give them to Kaylee? I gave some to Kaylee, but... Because Kaylee's our Valentine and Brandon is our Valentine. We all love Brandon. So the weirdest thing. So like, you know how if you're really sensitive and intuitive and, and you pay attention to your emotions and how you feel, you can kind of figure things out. Things that will happen to you. And Sophie and I both dream. We dream like crazy dreams. Sophie's been dreaming about cookie dough, right? What have you been dreaming? Uh, she's always watching me. Yeah, Sylvie dreamed that she's always watching her. So every once in a while, Sylvie will forget about cookie dough. And then all of a sudden, she'll dream her. And she'll dream her. And it's just like she's still living here with us. And Daisy's here too. And so is Cookie. And so anyway, it makes her feel better. Does it make it feel better? It makes me sad. Yeah, it makes us so sad. Like, I don't know why we dream such crazy dreams. Anyways, it made me think about how, like, before Cookie died... If you guys are new and you don't know, Sophie used to have a little chihuahua that she rescued and and she was a spotted chihuahua. And she loved her from the time that she was a little tiny girl. From the time she was one, we got this chihuahua. She was just a rescue. We were supposed to rehome her. And Sophie fell in love with her and never let her go. And she died this past summer suddenly. And um, a few weeks before she died, I would see her. Every once in a while, I would just look at her and I would see this 
this weird thing. Like I would feel this weird feeling, I guess is what it was. And I would look at her and I would like turn my head and I'd be like, what, what is happening? Like, what is that feeling? And I think even once I said, I hope she doesn't die. Like she wasn't sick. It's just, I had the weirdest feeling. And then a couple of days ago, I saw the same thing with um, Macy. Macy is our old Chihuahua. She's 12 years old, almost 13 years old, actually. And I had the same feeling with her. And I could tell that she, when she dies, she's going to die of old age. And she's going to be with us. That's what I think. That's what I saw. And it's kind of like when I see them in the same situation where they're going to pass away that I get that weird feeling. Does that make sense? Like uh, Macy was laying on my lap and she was all curled up and she's old now and, and she's starting to change into like an older body and I could just see, like I felt it and I could see it when she was laying there that that's how she's going to, she's going to go. And then in the past I've also dreamed when Sam dies yellow in my and we go to his funeral. So I know Sam dies before me, which is a whole nother thing. But yeah, Sophie and I dream, we dream the dreams, we dream all the dreams Where? and Where it's horrifying. Yellow? So my question to you is this. If you could choose to dream the future, no matter what it was, all the good things and all the bad things, would you do it? Would you choose to dream it? Would you choose to dream the good and the bad, Sophie? Sure. Would you want to know all the bad things that are going to happen or just be surprised? I would want to know so I can fix it. Yeah. It yeah. If you could dream, Gabby sleeps like the dead. I found that out last night. She's always slept like that, but oh man. Oh no, I woke up every single time you went in my room. Almost every single time. Oh, did you? Okay, so if you could dream the future, good and bad, would you choose to do it? No, I don't like dreaming. Just... Like, I've always done it like Sophie, so I don't know any different. I feel like I'm gonna cry about it, like. Getting ready to have the back up shower. Um, the two lights were off, you know the one that's always flickering? It turned off and I asked if Cookie could turn it back on and she did. <laughs> Sophie, this makes me cry. <laughs> like it's, it's hard for me as an adult to dream things and to know things. And then, but for your child to go through it is really sad. Like Sophie and, Ga and Sophie and Cookie were really, really, really connected. She's only a little girl, but that dog was her dog and nobody else's dog. Like they were super connected. Which makes me wonder, I never see Stella. I did see Stella two times. Two times or three times. The last time I saw her, she had grown these big, massive wings. And was this big, huge, powerful horse. And was like, like, Ew. Stella, the last time I dreamed her. And she was like, you know how, like, some angels are, like, the biggest, most powerful angels. And she was like that. She was, like, in charge of everything. And in charge of everyone up there, which... You couldn't have, oh my gosh, I'm just going to start this. <laughs> Sometimes I think Daisy's like a uh, cookie because every time when Cookie was still alive, I would go upstairs and go to the bathroom and Cookie would always push the door open she, and get in. She, and Daisy does that. <laughs> she does. This day is taking a bad turn. It has already even started. It's true. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, we're, all right, you guys, it's time to turn this day around. Let's start it off again. We're going to get our happy faces on, not our crying faces, and we'll see you guys at the barn. Okay, so we lot, we left early so we could go get something to eat. Oh, no, our horses aren't here. We've got to run. we got to hurry. So we left early. Turns out I missed, I messed up the riding time. We're supposed to ride at 1030. Which, which is in 20 minutes, which is in 20 minutes. Brandon's early, and so now we're late. So now we're late. I don't think you'll care. I know, but I feel bad because I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not the kind of girl to make some people wait. I'm not the kind of girl to put myself before other people. There's a lot of snow. I hate this sound. Me too. There's a lot of snow in the paddock though. I love that he's plowed it out for us. Like when I imagined before us traveling through the paddock in the snow, to get horses, I always thought that Too hard it was going to be through like hundreds of pounds of snow, but really, he plows it. Like he's such, the man that owns this barn, honestly, nicest man you'll ever meet in life. So kind. All right. Finn is hanging out with a different horse. They're all hanging out together. Like they're all, it's like a big community. Where is Storm? I was over there. 
What's, is Chino's blanket on? Oh my goodness, Storm is playing. Finn, Finn, he's playing. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Finn always plays with him. I never see Finn play. Finn has a play friend. Finn always plays with him. Is Chino stuck in a tree? He's more concerned about what's happening with Sophie. Oh, he's playing! I love that. And then Gabby's over there getting her boy. All right, Finn's deciding still. He's like, should I run for it or should I not? Look at how happy our horses are in the herd. Oh, he came to her. Nope. I have treats. Why didn't you take treats? Uh oh, the other horse is saving Finn. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? You go get ready because you aren't having a problem. That other horse, I gotta help Sophie. That other horse, seriously, went between Sophie and Finn to save Finn. <laughs> oh, she got him. I got treats. I tamed the wild beast. You tamed the wild beast? So when we first moved here, I had no idea why they had like this overall thing, coverall thing. It's so nice, you guys. Good boy. Good boy. Chino. Chino took a few steps. Chino, man, you okay? You are nice to be a friend. What happened? He bit me. Where? Right here. It's bitter. You want me? Finn has never bit before. Sophie is also going on no food. I told them to eat before we left. Why are you standing here? What's the problem? Hey? You warm? Everything okay? You okay? Yeah, you're okay. I just gotta make sure because always gotta check in. Always gotta check in with your horses. Oh, now I made a friend. Oh, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. You don't have to come in. I actually contemplated having a lesson on Chino. <laughs> Chino, dude, this is not safe. Don't follow me anymore. Enough, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get him moving, make sure he's okay. I don't know what happened to Finn and Sophie. All I know is that neither of the girls ate. Sam's gone to get them some food. We're late for our lesson. And not technically late yet, but our instructor's early. So we're kind of all panicking. And none of the girls have eaten. And Sophie is already feeling like melancholy and sad which never happens unless she hasn't eaten. So I have some hearts that I'm gonna to give to Brandon for Valentine's Day. Now I'm thinking maybe I should give them to Sophie so we have a good ride. Whoa, 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 wait, no, okay. No, no, whoa, no. whoa, whoa, hold on yeah, here. You, know what you guys about. need to hear this. You know what I'm talking so, about. So Gabby, you, you all stuff. know, no, oh, my, yeah. okay. You, you all know that Gabby has been dying for somebody to see the new storm. That they've been. Storm. I have not been dying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not very here. alive right now. <laughs> okay. So you won't believe what Brandon just said. What? He doesn't believe Storm is capable of much. He says the storm can't jump three foot. He says he could probably jump it, but he's not really into it. He's not. He's not into it. Storm exactly. said. Exactly. See, she gets. It. Oh no she no. Gets. Okay, you guys, wait till he eats his words. Storm, you better be on fire like you've been. It's like. But any horse can jump three. No, wait, wait, wait. Things, wait. things have changed. Things have changed. That's Should what I'm trying to say. Stride? Yes, he's fast and forward. Like you've yeah. never. <laughs> okay. Slow and big stride. Okay. Well. All right, you guys. Who thinks Brandon's gonna eat his words? I definitely. Okay, Brandon. If you notice any change in this horse, I need you to say. Oh my gosh, what the heck is wrong with this horse, okay?
Maybe. All right, yeah, see, it's gonna happen today. All right, Storm, I'm giving you a pep talk. It might be morning, but listen, you gotta go out there and strut your stuff. Make Brandon regret what he said. Show him what you've been capable of lately. Jump those jumps. Oh. No pressure, Gabby. One, but then he'll pick up his feet. Yeah, you might crash through one, but then he'll pick up his feet. Oh, that was my back. Did you hear it? No. No, that's not a good sign. All right, so he bit you. Why did Finny bite you? Because he got mad. He doesn't, he doesn't like when people take him before he eats. He bit you on the shoulder? So I truly believe that we need to do our course with the boys. I can't put it anymore. Here, I'll take it. Because basically, my hands are freezing now. Basically, I feel like because their boys weren't spending much time with us before, they looked to us for everything. They were excited to see us. They were excited to be near us, and now they have so much more going on, and they don't see us every day, and. I feel like we're losing them, you guys. So we need to work harder at that. You guys, we left hours ago, like at least two and a half hours ago. And look at that little cat has been sitting in the hay with the horses the entire time, missing his girl. Isn't that so sad? And then there's Penny. She's like, come to see me. I'll be down later, Pen. We're looking for Sophie's fall and we're gonna watch it. We're all here. Maybe not Gabby. I'm not gonna miss this time. Oh, I think this is it. This is it. Like, I closed my eyes. I don't even know what I got. I think it might have been on the other side. See? Jump. Start. Oh, she did that one. It's coming. Right it's coming. I did right know. before the clip. <laughs> <laughs> go back. Go back. gonna fall off this morning this morning <laughs> you're adorable you're adorable are you adorable that was a really good fall I only had her for one second <laughs> but her legs straight up in the air that's the funny yeah part. you're still up your hair not done I've never in my whole entire life ever seen you not have your hair done I put my hat on. I don't need my hair done. I told you guys earlier that I feel like Macy's on her last days. And I see it. I believe it. And sometimes when I fold the laundry and she's laying up here, I like to get a really nice warm blanket and cuddle her in there. I like to make it all around her and make her all cuddled and so warm. Like it's such a glorious feeling to be warm. And when you're old, I feel like it's harder for you to maintain your body heat. So I do that for her. And then I look down here and I got this little girl <laughs> all cuddled in. And the funniest thing about her and the heat, every time I go down in the basement, I grab my laundry, I turn around and start walking up the stairs and she's at the top of the stairs. Like even when I try and sneak downstairs, she's at the top of the stairs. She's got- You can't run away You from can't her. get away from her. You, she's got two feet on the first step looking at me, waiting. And then she races me back to the couch so I can dump the laundry out on top of her. That's how much she loves the heat. Loves to have the the warm laundry on top of her. You're lucky that we love you and we don't care that you get our clothes dirty. It's feeding time and we're here to watch our little uh, bearded dragon chomp her crickets. This is what it looks like. So he has to take everything apart so that she can catch her crickets because there's too many places for them to hide and she's still really young and she loves to be rubbed. You can tell. You can tell when she gets scared because she turns black and even her hands get a little bit black and she's been doing it all day and I don't know if it's because she looks like she's starting to like shed, shed a little bit on her nose again. Cause I don't think that part shedded. Gabby just said, well no wonder she's a redhead. No wonder she's got anger problems. She's a redhead. Oh, she's an orange head. <laughs> Sophie said, Sophie got mad and said, Gabby, she's not a redhead. She's orange. 
but basically the same thing. Glitter. Gabby, this one. Redheads can have orange hair or red Glitter. hair or auburn hair. Glitter. Today it started out with Sophie crying and me kind of crying and then Sophie getting bitten by Finn and then Sophie falling off her horse but jumping the biggest jump she's ever jumped in her life. And I mean, so I technically did jump it. You did. You jumped it what? You jumped it twice. Yeah, but both really bad. So it should be a it should be a really terrible day for her today. Sophie, has today been terrible? No. No. When a day starts out bad and you think it's gonna be bad, all it takes is good thoughts and not thinking that it's bad to turn it around. Does that make sense? Like sometimes it's easy to get caught up in specific incidences in each day and it turn a good day into a bad day. But if you just gloss over the things that are bad that happen to you, you can turn a bad day into a good day. Just like we did today. Abby's video of her first ride back with Brandon will be out tonight. And there were some pretty funny things that happened. Brandon's a funny guy. I love riding with him. My first ride back and it was that was, that was amazing. My, was amazing. What was that, my soul? Did you like it? <laughs> yeah, there were some funny, funny parts. That's like me. That's things that I say. Yeah, Gabby and Brandon related on a whole another level. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. What was that? We'll see you guys tomorrow. That was my. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.